The Attorney General's conflict case going before justices in the Supreme Court of Guam today. A.G. Doug Moylan and the governor's legal counsel, Leslie Travis, along with others, appearing virtually to find out what happens next. The case is over the AG's withdrawal to provide legal representation for 22 government of Guam agencies, who he confirmed his office is investigating based on audits from the public auditor. He's argued that's a clear conflict. But Governor Luliang Guerrero argued to allow the AG to stymie agency activity by refusing to do his part would unreasonably hinder the performance of agency duties under the law and the governor's duties under the Organic Act. Parties are scheduled to argue before the high court on May 20th, less than one month away. Attorneys agreeing with the panel that consists of Chief Justice Robert Torres and Justices Catherine Merriman and Philip Carbolito. Your Honor, on behalf of petitioner, no objections to uh, the panel as constituted or the date of oral argument. Your Honor, the Attorney General's office has no objection. Thank you. The high court noting how long each party will have to speak in the courtroom. So the oral argument currently is uh, will be split uh, 30 minutes between the uh, Imagen Hagen Wahan and uh, the Attorney General's office. Would the court um, consider a request from Amiki? We are still contemplating our position. And when would they like a written request for oral argument if necessary? We would require that that request be submitted no later than Friday the 3rd in advance of your brief being filed. And okay. with specific information on how much time will be requested and then we'll have to see if we'll give the attorney general an expanded opportunity to uh, for argument based on Amaki's request. The AG has until April 29th to file his response to the governor's brief, giving her until May 6th to reply.